Today, I will show you how to prevent two weapons with the same vibration code from being recognized as one and the same weapon. By that I mean that two weapons may output the same code and therefore cause a conflict. Today's video is basically an extension of my last video guide. Therefore, please make sure to watch the first two videos, or else you may probably not understand today's video. You can find a link to them in the video description. In last week's video, I have shown you how to use vibration to set up true weapon tracking. To be clearer, I am talking about the last example where every weapon has its own code. What I didn't mention is that in this scenario, there can be cases where two weapons use the same code or a very similar one. In such a case, the setup from my last video will not work because it would detect both weapons as the same one. Today I will show you how to prevent that. Let me show you an actual example. In Apex Legends, the two weapons that I have equipped right now will output the same vibration code, but this is only the case on first sight. Let me show you what I mean by that. To save some time, my config already includes an anti-recoil for both guns, as well as two groups named Gun 1 and Gun 2. These groups have been assigned to the two anti-recoil bindings. I will record the vibration code of the first weapon on the right side, and then the one of the second weapon on the left side. That way we can compare them. In order to solve this conflict, you must use the advanced mode to record these codes, or in short, just do what I am doing. Now that both codes have been recorded, you can see the similarities. The code at the top is the same for both weapons. This is the code your matrix will scan for and recognize. Any codes coming after that are ignored. This is why your matrix thinks both weapons are the same, because it only checks for the first code. And since the first code is the same for both weapons, your matrix thinks it's the same gun. To solve that, you have two options. The easiest option would be to pick the first code that is unique. The second code is already different, which means that it can be used to solve the problem. So in short, pick the first code that is different for both weapons. In your case, it may be the second or third code. I will display the codes on the left side. With these codes, I can now continue to do the same setup as in the last video. I will do that now in the background. This time, you manually type the code into the binding that loads the weapon group. Also, another neat trick is to load your anti-recoil group and then turn off all other groups. I forgot to show you this option in the last video. Once that is done, you can see that my matrix will correctly load the right recoil profile because it detects a unique rumble code. There is no more conflict where both weapons use the same code or are recognized as the same weapon. This option has a problem though. What happens if the first code of a completely different weapon also uses one of our newly picked codes? I refer to the two codes on the left side there would be another conflict then. I would probably end up permanently searching and checking for new codes until I found a setup where every weapon has its own unique code. This can therefore become quite tedious. The second option solves this by bundling two codes together. Let me show the codes from before again. The first code is the same, but the second one is unique. What we will do now is to bundle them. So your matrix will only perform a vibration action if it recognizes the correct sequence of codes right after each other. They must occur as a pair one after another. This will avoid conflicts with other weapons because it is extremely unlikely that the same pair will be used by a different weapon. Before I show you the setup, please be aware of the following. 
When you use one of these two solutions, then your smart action will start with a small delay when shooting your weapon. This is because your matrix is waiting until the correct code or correct code sequence is occurring. In this example, it will only wait a few milliseconds for both weapons. But there can also be examples where the second or third code may appear half a second later. That would result in the first half of the magazine to not have any anti-recoil. In this case, it may be better to use manual recoil loading for such a weapon. I have shown the process for that in this video here. You can find a link to it in the video description. But let's get back to the setup. In the top left, I will show the codes of both weapons. To bundle the codes, I will create a vibration binding and add the first code to it. Prior to this video, I have renamed one of my groups to have the same name as this code. This binding is meant to activate this group. Next, I do the same for the second code, and I must do it for both weapons. I will start with the first weapon. This binding has to activate the anti-recoil group of this weapon and deactivate all other groups. And the group it belongs to is the group of the first code. After that, I will do the same for the second weapon. This time it will load the other anti-recoil setup. The group this binding belongs to is the same as for the other binding of course. Once that is done, the setup works like the following. When the first code is detected, the one that both weapons are sharing, then this activates a group where the two second codes are in. Your matrix will then check what code it receives as the second one, and then activate the correct recoil group. You can add as many weapons to this setup as you want to. All that matters is that their second code is different. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.